Hello everyone. In the last session, we have learnt about the definition of arithmetic progression and the general formula and how to find the common difference. Before going to the numericals, let us understand some worked examples. These are the worked examples which I have taken from the textbook and let's see one by one in detail. For the arithmetic progression, 3 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2, so on, write the first term and the common difference D. Generally, always first term is denoted by a letter A and common difference is expressed in terms of D. Whenever you want to find the common difference, you should know the pattern first. See, this is a given pattern 3 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2 and so on. Here, this is the first term. That is, 3 by 2 is a first term. We call this 3 by 2 as A. A is equal to 3 by 2. Then, the method of finding common difference is simple. You can subtract second term minus first term, third term minus second term, or third term minus third term. See, I have subtracted second term minus first term. That is 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2. Here, second term is 1 by 2 minus second term. Here, D I have taken a2 minus a1. Here a2 is second term. a1 is first term. Okay. See second term minus first term. Since the denominator is common, we can take that common denominator and write the numerator as it is. That is 1 minus 3. Here denominator is 2. When you subtract 1 by 3, you will get minus 2, then 2, 2 will get cancelled and you are left with minus 1. Here minus 1 is the common difference. Which of the following list of the number forms AP? If they form AP, write the next two terms. There are two set of questions. The first set is to find out whether the given pattern is in AP, you have to confirm it. If it is confirmed whether the pattern is in AP, then the next segment is to find out two numbers in it. We will start the first question. The first question is 4, 10, 16, 22. Now, what is the main purpose? Main purpose is to find the common difference. Common difference can be found out by A2 minus A1. I mean second term minus first term or third term minus second term or fourth term minus third term. Now, if we take A2 minus A1, then it is 10 minus 4 is 6. If I want to find out the third minus second term, that is 16 minus 10 is again 6. If I want to find out the fourth term minus third term, here it is 22 minus, fourth term is 22 and third term is 16. Then we will get the answer 6. Here at least 2 to 3 common difference is better to find out to be in the safer side. I have written the formula a k plus 1 minus a k is equal to 0. Here you can write a n minus a a n minus 1 is equal to D. Is 1 and the same? Or you can write it as A n plus 1 minus A n is equal to D. See all these are the same meaning and general formulas. You can write any one. It means the same. Here A k plus 1 minus A k that is Successive number minus preceding number will gives you the common difference. The successive number minus the preceding number will gives you the common difference. 
the successive number minus the preceding number will gives you the common difference you are need not to get confused a n plus 1 minus a n is equal to d i have written isn't it now take n is equal to 6 or any number okay now what will be n plus 1 it is 7 minus n is 6 will give you the difference is it not the same or if you take any number take 5 itself n is equal to 5 then fifth term sorry sixth term minus fifth term is d see the same meaning and the next type you can write the general formula that is a n a n minus a n minus 1 is equal to d i have written the general formula that is a n see here take n is equal to 7 what does it mean a 7 minus what is n minus 1? 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. See? The 7th term minus 6th terms will give you the common difference. Take n is equal to 6. Take n is equal to 6. A 6th term. That is A 6 means 6th term minus A 5 is equal to D. See? It means the same. A K plus 1 minus a k is equal to d here instead of n I have written k all three all three are the same they are the general formula for d you can write either this this or this all three will gives you the same meaning hope this doubt is clear to you all since the common difference is same now you have to write down this is in ap if it is in ap then the next segment of the question is to find out next two terms now what you have to do the next term is 20 last term is 22 add common difference to it that is 22 plus 6 will gives you 28 now this is a fifth term this is a5 then whatever the fifth term you have add common difference to it will gives you the sixth term like that you can find out n number of terms we'll go to the next question the question is 1 minus 1 minus 3 minus 5 is so on here again first you have to confirm whether the given pattern is in ap or not arithmetic progression or not then the main thing is to find out the common difference subtract a2 minus a1 second term minus first one first term now second term is minus 1 minus first term is 1 now since minus minus you have to add and keep negative sign next third term minus second term what is third term that is minus 3 minus second term second term is minus 1 hence i have written minus of minus now minus 3 as it is minus into minus is plus plus 1 we subtract minus 3 plus 1 we will get the answer minus 2 similarly a4 minus a3 is minus 5 minus of minus 3 then minus 5 minus into minus is plus 3 now here when you subtract minus 5 from 3 you will get minus 2 you can notice all 3 are having the common difference that is minus 2 then the next two numbers are see last number is minus 5 now what you have to do I have to add common difference what is common difference that is minus 2 now what happens minus 5 plus into minus is minus 2 now 5 
and 2 are having the common sign that is minus it will become minus 7 now minus 7 is the fifth term now take the fifth term again add common difference to it now minus 7 is as it is plus into minus is minus 2 right as it is now again you have same common sign then you have to write minus and add now this is a fifth term and this is a sixth term this is a fifth term and this is a sixth term of ap fifth term is minus 7 and last term is minus 9 next third problem minus 2 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 now find the difference second term minus first term that is 2 minus of minus 2 now 2 I will write as it is minus of minus 2 is plus 2 when you add 2 plus 2 you will get 4 same way third term minus second term third term is minus 2 minus second term is 2 minus 2 minus 2 will gives you minus 4 same way fourth term minus third term fourth term is 2 minus third term is minus 2 now here minus into minus is plus then 2 minus into minus is plus again 2 2 plus 2 is 4 now you can notice the first common difference is 4 the second common difference is minus 4 third common difference is 4 here there is lot of difference between 4 is different from minus 4 they are not same here the common difference is not same every time therefore the given list of number does not form AP if it is not in AP then no need of finding next two numbers the next question is 1 1 1 2 2 2 3 3 3 now follow the same procedure second term minus first term that is 1 minus 1 is 0 third term minus second term that is 1 minus 1 is again 0 fourth term minus third term that is 2 minus 1 is 1 here that is the reason I have told at least to find 3 here the first two are same but when you find the third common difference you find that it is different from first two so here you have to specify the common difference is not same every time hence the given list of number does not form AP and therefore you need not to find the next two terms of the series if you find my videos are useful please subscribe and share to your friends thank you